Question, have you ever grandparented a meal? Why? Let's talk about it back in a minute. Good morning, good morning. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. And I love, love, love helping people keep some more of their own hard earned money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do definitely have my tall cup of joe with me. I hope that this video finds everybody doing well. What do I mean by grandparent a meal? Does this mean make a meal and give it to my grandparent? Well, technically, it's impossible for me to do that. They met Glory a long time ago. But do I mean that if I had one right here? Uh-uh. No, I don't. Grandparenting a meal is something that I came up with. I had a conversation with a friend just the other day, and it was quite interesting because this person lives truly a frugal lifestyle, makes no bones about it. And I have to say, I am totally proud of this person. We got into a conversation and she couldn't get over herself how many meals she regenerated from an original meal. That's what I mean by grandparenting a meal. Just like, you know, our grandparents are like, you know, the parents of our parents, right? And, you know, the generations continue. Well, let's look at it this way. By utilizing the original dish, how many different dishes can you come up with? So this, you know, this wonderful friend, what that person did was the original meal was very, very simple. It was just simply spaghetti and meatballs. But what the person did, what my friend actually did was she turned it into like three different meals. Okay. So she made enough meatballs and then she extracted a few, put them on the side. And then like a couple days later, what she did was she took them down from the freezer because she had frozen them to keep them as fresh as possible, which is a great idea. And what she did was she made, for example, meatball subs. Just added some shredded mozzarella cheese, put it on her favorite toasted bread, and there you go. Meatball subs for dinner. No fuss, no muss. Made with the original meal of the spaghetti and meatballs. So it gets better. She also made enough meatballs that what she did was she turned around, and a couple of days after that, she took some down, and she cut those meatballs up into smaller little pieces, and then she turned on her crock pot and then she added some vegetables, a couple of uh, bouillon cubes, a little bit more like, let's say, tomato paste, chopped fresh onion, chopped fresh celery and her favorite noodles. And she turned around and she made a miniature meatball soup per se. Just took the meatballs, just needed a couple for the flavor. And all she did was cut them up into smaller pieces. And she served that with crusty bread. Voila, simple, easy dinner. Now, that is definitely a couple of generations from an original meal. Just wondering. If you had an opportunity, given the two choices or any other meal, have you ever grandparented a meal from an original meal to give it a couple of descendant meals, if you will? I am curious to know if anybody has done that. And if so, let me know from the comment in the comment section below. Let me tell you something that can really save not only money, time, effort, energy. You are maximizing your value. I was just like so impressed. And of course, she was so impressed. I said, you know what? I definitely have to make a show about this and share this idea. For all I know, a bunch of you listening are probably doing this already. Let me know about that in the comment section below. That's really, really a cool idea. All right. So there you go. So I do have one favor to ask of you, though, before we leave. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care now. Bye-bye.